This video is sponsored by Mylio Photos. I take a lot of photos and perhaps they're not all uh, award-winning quality deserving of their own Apple billboard, but maybe I don't want to share them all on social media, but they're important to me because obviously they represent like memories that I want to look back on and you're probably like me too. And I love for there to be an easy way to have all those photos I care about synced with myself and my family. And keeping those photos organized and available everywhere, it's not as easy as you would think it would be and as easy it might sound. So Mylio is looking to fix pretty much every single pain point of photo organization so you never have to think about it again. And I got a lot of stuff to say about this, including a ton of ways to save you storage. But the first thing I want to do, save you money by giving you some, give you guys a chance to win 500 bucks for being awesome, good humans, generally kind people, supporting the channel over the years. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite photograph you ever took was, or just tell me a dad joke. Whatever you do though, leave your social handle in the comments to contact you if you win. Give the video a thumbs up. Open to anyone in the world, let it run for 10 days. All the information though will be in the description. So I imagine if you look at your phone, no matter what phone you're on and check your storage, probably the biggest chunk is going to be photos. Maybe you've had to not store your photos at high res. Maybe you've had to delete photos, start taking up space on your phone. But as megapixelage on these phones get bigger and bigger, the size that they take it up is getting gigantic. I, for the first time, had to go for a terabyte phone because I take so many mostly horrible pictures and I wanted to try to keep them all. But even that is starting to get filled. And that sucks. I don't want to have to delete a random picture of my kids and maybe I want to look back on in a few years or a sporting event or a trip, whatever. I want to be able to keep those photos. There are cloud solutions and those have their place and those work, but what if you've got a slow network or what if you're out of cell service? What about those photos? Also, sometimes privacy worries. Are they selling the information for, for ads or targeting you based on things you're doing or things you're seeing in those pictures? I don't love that. And also trying to manage all your photos in one place. I have a photo library on my MacBook Pro, but I also have a bunch of pictures that aren't on there that I uploaded to Instagram. And then private photos that I put on Facebook for family and friends that aren't all in one place. Now with MyLeo Photos, none of that matters. It'll pull in your photos in one app and it's all gonna be stored across any device you are on. At first glance, Mylio just seems like another photo app that you can use to manage your photos. Those are a dime a dozen. And it certainly does that. That is a very small part of it. So instead of just thinking this as like an app, think of it more like your own photo backup organization seeking solution all inside of one. Mylio essentially lets you build your own cloud without relying on someone else. So to do that, you just need to download the app on your device. And Mylio don't care what you are, or what device you are using. iOS, you're fine. Android, got your back. Mac, totally cool. PC, that's fine too. Uh, wherever you are, Mylio should work. In fact, NAS support is coming too, so you can truly store uh, your photos anywhere. All right, so once you've got the app installed, it's time to start importing all your photos. This can be done from anywhere your phone, DSLR, old prints, uh, any photo you really want to keep. Uh, what's great though, is that you have all of your photos are not living in the cloud. Uh, instead, they're backed up and stored on your device, whether that be your phone, tablet, or your computer. That means you have more control over them than you've ever had with the cloud. I think most importantly, you can share this with any platform. Don't have to rely on things like iCloud or Google Photos, but you don't have to pay for cloud storage, sort of you get stuck in an endless loop of monthly subscriptions. So with Mylio, it's a bit more of an old school approach with a modern twist and incredibly more convenient. So we had everybody uh, here at JFL contribute photos. And for some of us, we've been together for well over a decade. So there's quite a history of photos here. Here's the Model Y announcement uh, in San Francisco. I had a chance to announce the Hyundai Elantra on stage, making a video with John Morrison, Kind of going old school, we got iPhone 10 stuff here, some Jaguar, uh, and a bunch of memories all in one place. This is Ralph, that's Ralph IL. Uh, but if I wanted to find pictures, and I want to be like, okay, I want to see if there are any duplicates here. You know, everybody added photos, maybe all added photos from the same thing. Mylio photos make things like that really easy. Maybe you take a bunch of photos uh, all at once in a burst. If I just hit organize, I can 
find duplicate photos. And I'm like, oh, here are some duplicate photos. What do you want to do with it? That makes it easy. And what about not necessarily duplicates, but photos that are, are really similar? I can do that too. I can find similar photos. And I'll go through and find a bunch of photos that look really similar. I'm gonna tell you if you wanna keep them, timestamp where they were taken, uh, and the metadata associated with them as well. Then you can sort of be in control uh, of your photos. Sort of another really cool option. You can also do facial recognition as well. You can go through and select people, then it'll find all the photos with those folks here. So all the photos with me, all the photos with Matt, Ralph and Robert, uh, it'll pull all of those photos on in, kind of making the whole process really simple. So one of the cool things here is that if I make edits, uh, those edits will show up in real time on my iPad or phone, or depending on your watching this, my Pixel Fold if it's shipped already. Those edits aren't just generic things you can do from most really simple free editing apps. Uh, you can actually get really granular and do sort of edits uh, to photos that ordinarily would be in more pro apps if you want to get into it. So there's a lot of cool things with Malio Photos, but uh, amongst the coolest, is that these photos are not living in the cloud here. If I pulled internet, shut down my router, uh, I would still have access to all of these photos here. I could still make edits. Uh, some were taken with DSLRs, phones, old phones that have long been extinct. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're all here, regardless of whether or not I am online. It also, it has keywords that you can assign yourself, but also has AI smart tagging. So if I wanted to search for dogs, it'll find all the photos in here of dogs without me having to actually go through and tag every photo of a dog or beach or sunset, uh, whatever it might be. So and this has all the features you'd expect from a photo app like this. There's a quick review mode to see which photos you like or oftentimes don't like. There's also geotagging and tagging support so you can better organize your photos. That's fine, but let me paint a picture for you. Let's say you and your family went on vacation three months ago to San Francisco and you took a bunch of photos there that you absolutely loved. But that was a few months ago. Maybe you got a new phone and you want to look at those pictures and you don't know how to find them or maybe they're not stored in your same photo library. With Malio Photos, the geolocation will make that really easy. You can see how many photos you took at that location. That's awesome. They also have a feature they're calling Smart Preview. It essentially takes your photos and saves them as a five by seven image that you can view anywhere regardless of your internet connection. So if you want to sort of share a photo, you do that quickly without waiting for the photo to download. Uh, and for those of you that really want gigantic raw photos that you can upload, uh, Malio can actually shrink those files to less than 5% of the original size, all while retaining the editing ability you get with raw photos, which is nuts. And while all of these features are great, I think the one important part of this process is security and protection. After all, your library likely contain the most sensitive parts of your life, and some of you are more sensitive than others, and you don't want anyone getting access to that. Mylio makes sure that you're in control of your photos and they don't live on a cloud. So no prying eyes are getting access to this. So if you want an all-in-one photo managing solution, it's gonna sync across devices, store all your photos no matter what platform you took them with or what platform they were uploaded to, Mylio Photos has your back and does it really well. If you wanna check out Malio Photos or the paid version, Malio Photos Plus gives you even more features. All that information and links will be down below.